Another tier list today. Wow, it's so surprising. I am back with another great tier list. Today we're going to be on the spectrum. Well, today we're going to be ranking the colors in the spectrum. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. I may throw in some extra honorable mentions in there, but I'm going to be doing the main colors that we all know and love that we learned in kindergarten art class. First we have red. Um, red is my favorite color. It's going to get an S tier. Um, originally, my favorite color has always been blue, but I've grown to like red way more. Um, clearly, as you can see, my bed is just all red. Orange is next, and orange is just okay. I, I don't really have anything wrong with orange. You can make orange look really bad. Um, although, when you use orange correctly, it can be very, very nice looking. So, with that being said, I do think this is quite a mid color. It's going to go in C for me. Next is yellow. Now, the thing about yellow for me is that when used correctly, mind you, all of these colors apply to this same logic, but when used correctly can look nice, and yellow does look nice on some things. But in terms of all the other colors that I'm going to be ranking on this list, yellow is the least interesting in my opinion, though it's not ugly. It can be easily ugly. Like, it, you can easily make yellow look ugly. With that being said, I do think yellow is going to have to go in E tier for me. Next, we have green, the most underrated color on the spectrum. Um, I really don't understand why people don't like green. I think people just relate, just compare green to, like, disgusting. Or, like, they compare green to, like, veggies. Which, first of all, first of all veggies are not bad. They're actually good, in my opinion. So green makes me feel happy when I look at the color. There are a lot of ugly greens. There's a lot of ugly shades of greens. There's only a couple really nice looking greens and they have to be used correctly. Green is going to get a B tier for me. Although blue used to be my favorite color, um, I have kind of grown out of it a little bit. I've liked blue for so long and I started getting tired of it. Even if it's a really nice color, it's not going to get an S tier anymore. I'm going to have to put it in A tier. And lastly is purple. Now, even though purple isn't my favorite color, it's still an elite color. Um, I do think it's up there with red, even though I may not like it as much as red. It's going to go up there in S tier with red, in my opinion. Now, my first honorable mention is pink. I actually really love the color pink. I know that's a little weird, but I do think pink is quite a manly color. Pink can be a little obnoxious, but it can also be really, really tasteful, in my opinion. So I do honestly think that pink gets an A tier brown f tier and lastly i know these aren't colors they're shades but i'm be, i'm going to be ranking white gray and black white s tier black s tier gray s tier i mean what more do i have to say they can be paired with any of these colors that i ranked on these list and look great they can look great yellow and black yellow and white green and black green and white Blue and white, blue and black. Purple and white, purple and black. It just looks good. Gray and blue. Amazing. You can make so many different color combinations with these shades. And they, I think, in my opinion, they all deserve an S tier. I do think red and black is the best color combination. Or red and gray. They're both really, really nice. With that being said, this is going to conclude my color tier list. I actually went completely off the dome for this one. I was not using any notes. So... Even though these answers may have not made the most sense, I wanted to throw out this video today or else I wouldn't have any other time to do it because today I'm quite busy. So with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next banger tier list. <laughs>